paragraph 58 of Mystery of the Eucharist in the Life of the Church says that we have offered these reflections on the Eucharistic faith and practice of the Church as a starting point. There is much more that could be said, but what is most important is that we enter more deeply by faith and love into this great mystery of mysteries. Let us all ask the Lord to call us into a time of Eucharistic renewal, a time of prayer and reflection, of acts of charity and sincere repentance. The Lord is with us in the Eucharistic mystery, celebrated in our parishes and missions, in our beautiful cathedrals and in our poorest chapels. He is present and he draws near to us so that we can draw nearer to him. The Lord is generous to us with his grace. And so we, by his grace, should always humbly ask him to give us what we need. Those beautiful words given to us by the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops. We await the breaking forth of the dawn of resurrection. We hold vigil until we will be blinded by that light, graced by the sure knowledge that our Lord is risen from the dead. The Eucharist continues to testify to the resurrection over and over again. It molds and shapes us into the earthen tabernacles and vessels of the Lord that we are called to be each and every day of our lives. May we savor the story of creation that we will hear in our vigils tonight. From the formless wasteland to the Word made flesh, who became one of us, who suffers with and for us, and beckons us to embrace the new life of eternity. We are an Easter people, and Alleluia is our song. May we forever praise the wonders the Lord has done and embrace not the empty tomb, but the life that sprang from it, the life that fills us with joy and gladness, the life that we embrace in our celebration in the Eucharist and in our communion with each other and with our God.